if you put all the, the canvases one on top of each other, they'd be as tall as the Empire State Building. Someone told me that once. Was it ever considered a gamble to launch a painted film? Yeah, a massive gamble. Um, <clears throat> this has never been done before. It was from conception to delivering the movie. It's been a seven-year <laughs> process. So they've been making this film for seven years. Seven years, wow. But yeah, and it was a gamble. And, and, and Hugh, the producer, he had, you know, he, he said that he had 120 artists working hand to mouth under his employment, and they were still financing the movie as they were going along. So he said he had a lot of responsibility, and there were a lot of people that travelled a long way to, to to work on this movie. So that was a gamble in some sense. People had put a lot at stake, um, but it really is just a a creative, um, artistic adventure that they went on. Um, every canvas was a gamble for every artist that was involved. Um, I don't know if you've had any chance to actually look at the making of it. It's really quite. I've seen clips. Yeah, yeah. it's really impressive and. Yeah, to, to be in a place where there are 120 artists working on this and it takes one artist five months to paint less than 30 seconds of the movie. So to see them putting their gambling their time on something and seeing it to come together in such a beautiful way and see it, you know, on such a big screen at the National Gallery tonight where the premiere is going to be with Clint Mansell, one of my favourite composers, um, one of the greatest composers, scoring it. That's pretty, I feel like hopefully that will gamble will have paid off. So although Loving Vincent is like the most elaborate Insta-filter, but it's actually like handcrafted and painted and everything, how much did that influence the physical production, costume and sets? The, the physical production was pared down in the sense the live action making of the movie was quite simple mm -hmm. on green screens and simple sets. Um, and the costumes were all real. They were very specific about the costumes. But most of the work and effort of this film happened after the film. So I shot for about three or four weeks. Then they painted for a further two years. Oh my God. Yeah, so they projected every single frame of the movie onto a canvas. Then over 120 artists from all over the world painted over every frame, 12 frames a second for the whole movie, creating 65,000 oil paintings that make up the whole movie. So it's like a very posh flip book. Yeah, I think if you put all the if you put all the the canvases one on top of each other, they'd be as tall as the Empire State Building. Someone told me that once. So yeah. So Van Gogh's importance and influence only really reached its height after his death. What would success have meant to him in his day? He, he was finally getting some recognition at the end of his life. He sold one painting in his lifetime, and, but he, he sold that painting for a fairly decent amount of money for ta at the time. Okay. And he was, yeah, he was finally, they, they, you know, in the film they say that his star was finally rising. Um, I don't know, I, I, can't, I can't say what he would have thought of his recognition. I don't think he was painting for recognition. Yeah. I think he was painting, you know, the emotion in what he saw. And I think he was probably working through quite a few demons mm -hmm. and expressing love and life through his work. So I don't know. But I, what I do know is that this movie was made with so much love um, in regards to him. With, with, you know, the movie makers really care about his mm -hmm. story and love him and have read every book, seen every painting, traveled to every site that in the world that he ever visited yeah. and that was important to him. So this is, if anything, a really loving tribute to Vincent.